Hey, shark fans, it's Melinda Marsalis. Welcome to Heard It on the Shark. I'll be your show host, and Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area is your show sponsor. Heard It on the Shark is a weekly interview show that airs every Tuesday at 11 a.m. on the Shark 102.3 FM radio station based in Ripley, Mississippi. Then it's released as a podcast on all the major podcast platforms. You'll hear interviews with the movers and shakers in North Mississippi who are making things happen. I'll talk to entrepreneurs, leaders of business, medicine, education, and the people behind all the amazing things happening in North Mississippi. When people ask you, how did you know about that? You'll say, I heard it on the shark. Heard it on the shark is brought to you by the Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area. We want you to get out and discover the historic, cultural, natural, scenic, and recreational treasures of the Mississippi Hills that are right in your backyard. And of course, we want you to take the Shark 1023 FM along for the ride. Musical credit belongs to Hill Country Blues guitar legend Gary Burnside and the late great Buddy Grisham playing Long Way Home from their album Acoustic Brothers, which was recorded at Sun Bear Studio in Ripley, Mississippi. This program was recorded at Sun Bear Studio in Ripley, Mississippi. Hey, y'all, it's Melinda with an extra episode of Heard It on the Shark. As many of you know, there is a Burnside Music Festival in Ripley at Blues Alley this Saturday, June the 8th. And there's going to be a lot of great musicians there. But we just found out that... Not only will all the Burnsides be there, but so will Luther Dickinson of the North Mississippi All-Stars. He's going to come and jam with Gary and Cedric and Dwayne and Kent for the Burnside Music Festival on Saturday, June 8th. That'll be such a special treat. We had Luther call into the studio and Gary came by. So here's our conversation about this coming Saturday. How long have you known Gary? Oh, man. Since the early to mid 90s i don't remember exactly when but you know we started going down to juniors around 93 or 4 i can't remember and we hit it off right away and uh, cody and Dwayne, my brother and gary's brother they were really good friends and gary and i hit it off and also cedric and i were friends so we just started hanging out we started playing together maybe around 97 or 98 96 i don't know yeah bill long time Gary, what's your favorite thing to do with Luther? Is it Hill Country Blues you like to do most with him, or do you like to do something else? Well, well, we both would do a little bit of anything. You know what I'm saying? Hill Country <laughs> is our thing, but we up there, you never know what we might come up with. Just jamming, you know. I guess you're touring right now, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to Virginia to play a festival tomorrow, and then we're going over to London next week, and then I'll be in Ripley the week after that. Yeah, Can't that, wait. that's that main show. <laughs> that's the main one that's the main one that's what i'm talking about now <laughs> i'm serious it means the most to me you know we were just kids when we all started making music together we were under our dad and we were looking up to rl and jr and our father rl and jr are long gone and now we're getting old we still here. What do you What do you look forward to most coming to Ripley and playing with Gary and Cedric and and Dwayne and Kemp? Oh man, it's it's like a family reunion every time. You know, it's like the North Mississippi Hill Country picnic in June or Chardé's picnic in um in August. You know, it's like a family reunion. You know, and you know how family reunions are. Someone might clown and get in an argument and throw the potato salad. Yeah, over why ain't gonna be here? <laughs> <laughs> you, already uh, you already know. You already know who's gonna throw a potato salad. You already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the music, you know. That that's what that's what keeps it all together, you know. And it's so cool what Gary just said because like we'll play some old hill country, but we're gonna put our own stuff on it, and it changes as time goes by, you know. Yeah, and, and Gary really can just jump in there. Whatever you decide to play that night, he can just jump in there and play with you. He just, it's like Mozart playing guitar. He he can just do it all. Yeah, or drums or bass. Yeah, but see, you see the thing about it, I don't get paid but for once. So I ain't doing all three now. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know they put me anywhere, man. You know that already. <laughs> Hey, I was Gary is the MVP. I mean, especially back at juniors. I mean, everybody needed Gary to play. I was doing this on the mic last weekend. We were ah, where were we in Georgia? And uh I was like, Gary Burnside to the stage, 
Dave Kimbrough. <laughs> Dave, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it's so good. To have, so glad y'all came down to Junior Duke, Gary Burnside to the stage. So glad y'all came to Junior Jim Kimbrough, Duke joint tonight. We're going to have a good Gary Burnside to the stage. Yeah. We're going to have a good time. I had to sneak <laughs> off sometime, man. I ain't getting no break. <laughs> He must have been playing bass that night. That's who I always. I played bass behind everybody. I mean, it might be all kind of guitar players now. Man, yeah. they didn't want me to get up to go to the bathroom. After a lot like I go to the bathroom just to take a break, you know? Because they could play bass if he wanted, you know what I'm saying? But they didn't want to do nothing to him. Wayne, they want to be the star. They want to be the guitar player. Slave me. Okay. Oh, I see. They, you know, oh, yeah. I see. Okay, so there's the superstars out front, and then there's the poor old bass player back there with no breaks. No break. I'm trying to tell you, and no money. That was bad. See, guitar bass. players, guitar players are, work, are hardly working, but the bass player working hard. Oh, I'm trying to tell you now. Y'all just standing up front <laughs> looking cute. That's all you gotta oh, do. <laughs> That's why Gary switched to guitar. <laughs> you notice, huh? That you still hey. saying. I'm like, man, I had to get a break somewhere. As soon as Eric Deaton showed up. <laughs> <laughs> Did it. But there was some help there when Eric came along, man. Yes. We could kind of do whatever, you know. I can't come in June to the Hill Country picnic, so yeah, I, I this know really it. means a lot to me. Yeah. Okay, so that's really extra special that we're going to get to see you on this uh, June 8th on the square in Ripley, everybody be there, Burnside Music Festival. I know you want to do your own music, and I know you want to <laughs> put your own spin on things, but can you promise me that you'll do Skinny Woman? <laughs> oh, look, we, we will. I, we won't say you ain't going to be in a hurry about some time before it get to us, but we'll do it our way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Burnsides out there, and they love Skinny Woman. That's why my set is my set, because the thing about it, when you got all us together, you're going to hear all dead and junior songs so so many times before we get to I get to play. That's why my show is not mostly here because it's just it's just a show. You know what right. I'm saying? I do because you're going to hear right. so many especially with all of us together. It'd be different if I was the only burn side there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're going to hear a lot of that. Gary, is that a that yes or a no? You. That's a yes. You okay. will hear skin. <laughs> I can promise you that. That reminds me of uh, down at Uther's Picnic uh, one year my friend from California is like, is every single body going to sing Jump Around the Line? I, I mean, like I'm every... you. <laughs> you hear it. You hear it. That's how it is. That's why I don't do that. At, at Kenny Brown, you show me you're going to hear that Kenny Brown picnic, you know, in Sarah. Oh, man. So that's why my yeah. show is different, you know? There's it's just, so smart. There's just some things that the OGs need to do, though. Seriously. Oh, I mean, one thing about it, I mean, they all know where it comes from. Okay. But okay. I mean... I, I mean, you know, just like other bands do it, it's it's so important to them to do an RL <laughs> song. And I mean, I mean, he all he he's always important to us because he had no dad right. or whatever. So it don't matter if we do it or not. I don't want to take that from them or, or whoever trying to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because it means more to them to play it on their show than it will ours. You know what I'm saying? To me, you know what I'm saying? Because they know we do that. I try to do other stuff, not try to focus on a lot of dead and junior when I'm at like the Here Comes the Picnic or. My festival, whatever, because we got so many burns out there that you're going to hear that forever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Seriously, though, it's going to be a fantastic show no matter what y'all play because you're so fantastic. You're awesome musicians. So Appreciate it. I'm Thank real you. excited. Luther, Thank we're you. we're just thrilled to have you coming to see us. Is there anything of your own that you're going to try to get done that night? No, oh, just have some fun. But i just so excited to come back to Ripley. As soon as, 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 soon as I started coming to Ripley, I was so impressed with how how like welcoming and encouraging the community is for for music there. It's really a unique town. Uh, it's a really special place. All right, Luther, we are, we are indebted to you for coming. Thank you so much for coming to this Burnside Music Festival. And, and you know, when I first started playing guitar, Luther, the All Star, was the first one that got me out there to play in public. When I first started playing lead guitar in front of thousands, of yep. Luke put me. We gotta on. do it again. I was going out traveling with them playing bass. So Chris came back. When Chris come back, Lou switched me to guitar. I yep, could play a little bit, right. but I wasn't like, you no, know, as good as I am now, just trying to you no know, do it. Put me out there, man. I said, I got to play fast, learn fast now. I'll get embarrassed one of him. <laughs> the first one ever put me out there on stage live was the All Star. What year was that? <laughs> uh, 2000. 2000. I can't remember. 2000. That's when I first got out there, started playing guitars with Luther and the All Star. Yeah. Yeah. Because we were playing before. But you'd be on bass. Uh huh. And be then, on bass. Uh, once, once the record came out, Shake Hands with Shorty in 2000. Then that's when Chris quit his job. 
So he came back full time, and then you would join us on Oops. guitar. Uh huh. He put me in the guitar. So shake hands yeah. with Shorty. Who's the bass player the, on That's, that album? Uh, Chris, for the most part. But mm -hmm. Gary and Cedric are on two of those songs because we'd been that's what we'd been doing on the road. There's nothing like it that describes what North Mississippi is like. It's a special place. Yeah. And the music holds us together. Hey, let's talk again next week before the festival. Great talking to you. And I hope that you have safe travels on the road as you go on tour. And we'll see you June 8th. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it, bro. I'll hold you later. Yes. Hey, North Mississippi, this is Josh Smith. Come to Ripley Saturday, June 8th for the Burnside Music Festival. The day starts in downtown Ripley at 11 a.m. with a show and shine car show. Food vendors, arts and craft vendors, a rib cook-off, all-day music, including my band, Reverend Jesse and the Holy Smokes. The day ends with a Burnside family reunion of Kent, Dwayne, Cedric, and Gary Burnside. Don't miss it. The Burnside Music Festival, Ripley, Mississippi, Saturday, June 8th. Details at RipleyMSMainStreet.com. The Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area was established by the United States Congress in 2009 and represents a distinctive cultural landscape shaped by the dynamic intersection of Appalachian and Delta cultures. This intersection has produced a powerful concentration of nationally significant cultural icons, including King of Rock and Roll Elvis Presley, First Lady of Country Music Tammy Wynette, Blues Legend Howlin' Wolf, Civil Rights Icons Ida B. Wells Barnett and James Meredith, America's Favorite Playwright Tennessee Williams, and No Nobel laureate William Faulkner. The stories of the Mississippi Hills are many and powerful, from music and literature to Native American and African American heritage to the Civil War. The Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area supports the local institutions that preserve and share Northeast Mississippi's rich heritage. Begin your discovery of the historic, cultural, natural, scenic, and recreational treasures of our region by visiting the Mississippi Hills National Heritage Area online at mississippihills.org. This show is made possible by JC Media LLC in Ripley, Mississippi. JC Media owns the Shark 102.3 Classic Rock FM radio station where the show is hosted and Sun Bear Recording Studio where the interviews are recorded. We need your feedback and support. If you listen to the podcast on a player like iTunes, Google Podcasts, or Amazon Music, please subscribe to the show and leave us a review. We also have an email in which you can share your feedback. That email is theshark1023 at gmail.com. Subscribe to our podcast on your favorite app or stream episodes online at shark1023.com front slash podcast. Today's episode was produced by Melinda Marsalis. It was edited by Rick Williams and engineered by Chris Marsalis. The podcast technician is Joyce Grady. 